When I started to play live, um, I had a very, very big lack of happy songs. And um, I thought back to those days when we used to be in the car going to folk festivals. And, and the reason for that was that my dad's a sound engineer and he's been doing this sound thing up and down at festivals um, since we were really, really young. And we always used to get taken along, you know. Uh, people keep saying, is that not child abuse? Taking kids to folk festivals, but no. We had a fantastic time. And, um, yeah, so I was thinking of happy songs I could do, and there was only one happy one that all my dad used to sing. All the rest were really miserable. And um, <clears throat> so I went to my dad and asked him for it, and he said, no, go away, it's mine. And I was like, oh no, because I could only remember half of it. So I thought, well, how can I get round that? What can I give him so he'll give me the song? So I thought about it, and I ended up giving him a 24 pack of Boddington's draft in a can. <laughs> and he'd give me the other half, so that's a good deal, really, isn't it? It don't make that make that much sense though. <laughs> the song it's a song called The Jolly Ploughboys and it tells a tale of some ploughboys who get up at four o'clock in the morning, they go along and they brush the roses for two hours, which would probably be quite sore actually, wouldn't it? Poor roses. Brush all the fair off them. And then they go out and follow some ploughs about, take the numbers down and that, you know. And then um, the farmer comes out and says, What have you been doing, you dead lazy? And they go, Oh yeah. No, but we're quite happy. And then they all drink beer. When? <laughs> Folk music delivers the goods again. <laughs> Thank you. 